So I guess I'll take you guys around, show you some of the public rooms. The one I'm in now, is, this is the Queen's Lounge, also the Culinary Arts Center where they do cooking demonstrations and things. It's kind of nice. The sports bar. The piano bar. We're in port right now, that's why there's not a lot of people, so I thought it would be good to do some filming. Now I'm in the Eurodams show lounge. We saw a couple shows here, nice shows. And then here's the stage. Can't see it very well, but really neat crystal sculpture going up the staircase of the show lounge. The um, Pinnacle Wine Bar. It's a real modern bar. Explorer's Bar. The upstairs Rembrandt dining room. Just the main dining room. I'm walking right now on the walking deck that the Eurodam has. And there's just seats all around. You can look out at the ocean. And if you want to walk, three laps equals a mile. And I'm just, we're still here in St. Thomas. The Eurodam's photo gallery, photo gallery. Now there's art here, but most of the time if you get pictures taken, they'll be here. That's the captain and his wife. The atrium. We've already seen this before, but it is from the third floor. They already have Christmas decorations. Right next to the atrium is the ocean bar. Serving drinks every night. Here, let's see what the cocktail of the day is. It's a um, cucumber lime smash. Or no, I'm sorry. Planters, planters punch. And for kids, they have a strawberry smoothie. That goes for every bar. Now, right now, as I'm doing this tour, the shops are unfortunately closed. But I will come back maybe tomorrow, and film. Entrance to the screening room, they're kind of having a movie right now, if you can hear. The Lido, as we saw last night. The Lido bar with cool bar seats. Hustle and bustle of the Lido buffet. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner anytime. The sea view pool, as we've seen before, in the back of the ship. And they also have Slice, which is a pizzeria, and the, the sea view bar as well. The observation deck, all the way at the top. You can grab a Chase Lounge and just sit and watch the ocean. There's some workers working on the smokestacks before we leave. A smaller version of the walk around deck with views of the Leo pool. And there's the private cabanas that you can rent for either a day or a whole cruise. The Silk Den Bar where we were before. Nice Asian themed restaurant with views, pool, and we, they have two private dens. The front office, and then the atrium bar, located right above the atrium.
if you want to go ashore and do some excursions, there's shore excursions desk right there, but it's closed right now. Over there is the Pinnacle Grill. It's for an extra charge. You can eat there instead of the Lido dining room, the regular dining room, or Canaletto. Just leaving the port of St. Thomas on our way to Half Moon Key, which is Holland America's private island. And um, tomorrow's a sea day, so we won't be going anywhere. Last look at the Virgin Islands. Uh, think about what could be a one off scenario. For instance, this ship has about a million and one services that happen every single day. This is a huge operation. Almost I'm going to see it in the Queensland this night. I've got the show down the side of the I'm going to go show. Also, it's the Neptune from the Ocean Guard. Our great standard fan is the dance music of the night. Also, it's Bob the Cameraman. He has everything to do with that. Also, take a look. It's our short excursion team. We have a dime short stretch from the Explorer Club. It's Tom and Veronica, our future cruise consultant, as well as our signature shop team. Our great stickers on the show. We're going on the show. Take a look. It's the Yeah.